Hi, I'm Lori Allred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I surf around Pinterest each week looking for awesome pins from crafty people from all over the world and force myself to create them so that I can show you how to make them. So that's what I love about Pinterest. It's a great resource to save your ideas, but sometimes we just have to lock ourselves in our craft room and actually create some of them to justify all the many hours we spend on Pinterest, right? So I challenge each of you to go out and craft something that you've pinned. In fact, during Sweeps Weeks, we had a few challenges where we had people send in unfinished projects, and I giggled because some of them look like some of my past shows or things they had found on Pinterest that they hadn't finished, but at least you started, so I think that's important. So today I'm excited. As you can see, we're going to be talking about clipboards. I've got some fun ideas here that we're going to go through. And so you're going to want to start off by going to my board. It's actually labeled candles and clipboards, mainly because at first I didn't have a lot of clipboard ideas and I didn't have a lot of candle ideas, so I combined them. But it's a fun board. There's a lot of really crafty ideas in there. The first one I'm excited to share with you is this really awesome giant clipboard. It is seven feet tall and four feet wide, and it's on a great blog called kidtropolis.wordpress.com. And they actually really recreated this, and they have dry erase on it so they can write each day of the week what's going on. They even have a place to hold um, school assignments. So cool, but I didn't have time to create a seven by four foot clipboard. So another one. You know, you see a lot on Pinterest are these great wall gallery walls, but what I loved is the twist of using clipboards to create a gallery wall. And in fact, the amazing Char from crapivemade.com, she created this really fun clipboard gallery wall above her piano, and she's used different sizes of clipboards and placed them right on the wall so that she could interchange out photos and whatnot. Super cool idea, Char, loved it. And then this other really fun idea I found on cleanandsensible.blogspot.com. It's a kid's art display. And actually, I just loved what they did with this. They actually took some inexpensive clipboards you can pick up for a dollar or two and spray painted it silver. And as I've mentioned in past episodes, my new favorite color of spray paint is that metallic silver. Isn't that just the coolest? And it actually went on pretty good. Sometimes these are pretty rough, so they don't take the paint as well. Many, many coats, but they'll work. And then she just created this display right on her wall to put her kids' artwork. Very, very cool. So here's some really fun ideas. How about converting a frame into a clipboard? So I actually gave this a try. It's from one of my favorite blogs, shantytochic.com. And how fun is this? This was a $4 frame that I picked up at Walmart and I popped out the glass, spray painted this piece and this separate, of course. Put it back together. This is some really cute paper from the Soul Sisters line from Imagine S. Had to do it. I tried to find a picture of my cute soul sisters, my BFF, so that I could put in it, but couldn't find one last night. But then I just took my E6000 and took that cool bulldog clip, glued it right to the glass. So then I can interchange out what I want and created a frame, a clipboard frame. I thought that was a really fun idea that I found on that Shanty to Chic blog. Another one is how about create a clipboard frame? Kind of the opposite. So this one I found on, oh, Better Homes and Gardens. I just thought it was a really cool idea. You could really get crafty with this. I took a clipboard and I actually bought at the dollar store just an inexpensive frame. So pop that back part out that has the easel, hot glue it to the back of the clipboard, take the glass out of the front to put your photograph right under, embellish your clipboard however you want. I spray painted this cream color, put some cute vinyl right here that said family, and then it just sits right up on my fireplace. So how cool is that? So then let's show you some, there are so many really cool clipboard resources out there. I stopped by a craft store near my home and picked up, I couldn't stop. My, my mom was with me and she's like, why are you buying all these clipboard samples? It's so I could show you guys. I just thought they were so much fun. Everything from small little um, clipboards. Most of these ranged anywhere from about a dollar up to about $3.99. They weren't super expensive. This one's very similar to this, just in size. And it comes with this cool wood piece so that you can set it up like a frame. And then we've got these really cute ones that you can paint. They had flip flops and ladybugs. I thought that was super cute. This is actually kind of paper mache. It's not super straight, but I thought you could have a lot of fun covering that. Uh, that cost a dollar, so we'll suffer the consequence of it not being straight. And this one I picked up at a thrift store, just a, a good find. It's hard to find these ones with the really cool clip part. Most of them have this flatter clip nowadays. And this one I just picked up at Walmart for about a dollar. 
or two. So really fun resources and they come in all shapes and sizes. In fact, from my store shopping trip, I picked up this pack. I thought these were super cute. And I saw pinned on Pinterest, someone had covered these or painted them with chalkboard paint and just had them hanging up. I thought that was cute. It's kind of as tags on a basket or something. Fun ideas, people. So here's a couple more pins I wanna share. This first one is from the 36th Avenue. Dot com. I love this idea. She uses clipboards to organize. Now I have a lot of pins in my pin board that show you ways to use clipboards to organize, but she actually took dry erase vinyl and then labeled her boards. And as you'll see from the image that we have on the screen, she talks about everything from keeping track of spelling lists, what they, you know, they're checking off different things like um, they went to bed on time, their backpacks ready, super cool idea. And then she just Velcroed a little dry erase marker right on the board. Some other fun ones from like Better Homes and Gardens um, and another pin from Christy Robbins. They actually created chalkboard clipboards, which I thought was fun. And I wanna take it a step further because as you know, I love chalk paint. So there's three different ways to do chalk. You can spray paint chalk on, you can hand paint it with a brush on, or you can do my personal favorite, chalkboard vinyl. This is from our friends at Brookie. I use it a lot. And I took this chalkboard vinyl. It comes in sheets of 12 by 12 or 12 by 24. It's adhesive, of course. And I covered a clipboard. Trust me, this took me a couple of minutes versus having to paint it or spray paint it. Even though I have those supplies a lot less messy and I'm ready to go take my chalk out. Say if you were a coach or whatnot, or you just wanted a reminder, you could do a lot of really fun things with a chalkboard clipboard. Oh, so many ideas. We're almost done. So we have some other fun pins I wanted to share. MelissaFrancis.com, a great scrapbook manufacturer out there, um, has on their blog the most beautiful countdown that they used, did with a clipboard that is definitely worthy of featuring. Another one, of course, you've seen all over the blogosphere, and we've been doing it for years, covering our clipboards with scrapbook paper. You can do a lot of really fun things, and I'm going to show you one pin from createstudio.blogspot.com. And then the last one is just some really fun ideas with some post-it note clipboards. And basically, they just took post-it notes and bulldog clips to create it. As simple as this. These are some really fun clips that I picked up at Walmart from the cute Nickelodeon show Victorious. And they're these fun glittery, I loved them. Who doesn't love glittery things? And they were on clearance, by the way. So can't guarantee you'll be able to find them. But look, any type of surface, a chipboard surface, this is just a piece of wood that you could put like a vinyl stain on. I thought, how cute would it be to just add that there, cut down some paper and create a little list you could hang from like a grocery list. So you can get really creative and make your own clipboards. Some other fun things too, you know, I'm a vinyl fanatic. I love vinyl. So this fun clear clipboard, I believe was a couple dollars at Walmart, if that. And look how fun, let's turn it over so we don't have, it doesn't make our writing surface bumpy. We just have vinyl. That's not gonna show up with that black table. So let's take, some red vinyl. And what's cool about some of these colors is they're gonna show through on the other side. But here's the tip. I wanted to put my name on this clipboard. So I wanted to make sure that it showed through the other side, but I didn't have to put it on the other side. So I reversed my type font in my electric cutter so that it was the opposite direction. So using my transfer tape, I'm just gonna pull that away. Then of course, look how cool. I was super excited. So I still have that nice flat writing surface, but then I've got the vinyl right on the back. Simple ideas to recreate and decorate and do what you want with clipboards and you can do it too. So take some of these pins from my pin board, candles and clipboards and recreate them today. Be sure to join us next week when we show you some really fun ideas using duct tape.